Hello and welcome to my channel. My name is Tamil Green and in today's Canva tutorial, I'm going to talk to you about using text. Okay, so whenever you're inside of Canva, of course, not all graphics you create have to have text, but there are a lot of things that you can do with text inside of Canva. So we're just going to get started. So, of course, the first thing I want to bring to your attention is I talked about it a little bit in another tutorial. In the beginning, I talked to you about a brand kit. And so I'm just going to go there real quickly. And in a brand kit, you, you have, you know, your text that you can put here, right? Um, if you have the Canva Pro version, you can go ahead and um, customize it so that every time you open up anything on Canva that the headings that you normally use for a particular brand set are right here okay but you can only do this with the Canva Pro version so that when you do that any of those that you put in the brand kit are always right here so when you want to add a heading add a subheading or add a little bit of body text you have the same consistent fonts all the time without having to go and search for text. So that's just one simple thing that I like to do. I always like to show productivity type um, hacks and things like that. So that's one of those hacks when it relates to text, okay? So first off, we're gonna just add text. So when you want to add text to anything that you've opened up in Canva, any template you're using or a blank canvas like I have right here, you just go over here, first of all, hover over the side over here where it says text and then click that and it changes okay first off it'll be probably on templates and then you go here to text and it changes once you do that you just click over here and it pops over to the right hand side right so there's a couple things that you can do here first of all once you add a text you can change the font style all right so you just highlight here and go in this box and this allows you to search for fonts that Canva already has in another video I'll show you how to add new font but um, in this video I'm going to show you just you know that you can actually change the style of font that you're using and it works just like any Microsoft Office program or any other um, you know word processing program when it actually comes to what types of things you can do to the font like changing the font style and you would actually have to click on it to bring up that menu if you notice when there's nothing highlighted then that menu is not there so in order to have that menu this text box or a text box has to be highlighted so along with changing your font style you can change your font size and if you go down here you can it actually goes up to 144 right but if you need the font to be bigger, of course not on this on this size of a canvas, but you can actually type in, you know, bigger font um, size, okay? Um, that's always a question I've gotten a couple of times in my beginner Canva class is if, you know, when people see that it only goes to 144, they sometimes think they can't type into it to make it a different um, size, but you can, all right? So let's change that back to maybe about 18. Okay, so let me just type in here. All right, so not only can you change the size of the text, you can change the color. Again, working with your brand kit, colors that you normally always work with will be over here once you set up your brand kit. And if not, you can actually put other colors there. You know, just, I'm just going to, if you can just click on another, any of these colors here, you can just change the color if you don't have the brand kits already set up. Or if you have a hex code, if you have a specific color, um, that you need to use you can place your hex code right here okay so now knowing that you can change the color certain text will have this um, available where you can make it bold 
or italicized but just know that sometimes it doesn't come in all text styles okay so sometimes this won't be available like as in this one it's not available now so then other than bolding and italicized right next to that you'll see alignment and this is where you can justify the text which is a new feature that has been added to um, Canva 2.0 it's not just left right and center anymore you can now justify the text so that's an awesome um, thing that has been added you can also make the text uppercase just by clicking this um, uppercase button right here okay if you mouse over it says uppercase if you want to take it back down to sentence case just click it again and it goes right back to what you originally typed all right so now right next to the uppercase is the list feature all right when you're working with this you can do a bulleted list or you can do a numbers list right so you click inside of the text box and then you want to click on that and notice that it's all the way over here right when the bullet came up it kind of went over a little bit but if you don't want it that far over then you go back over here to alignment and that allows you to bring it back closer to the bullet right if you want to click um, to the numbers you just click it one more time and it changes to the numbers and it's very simple okay and right next to that is the spacing and spacing allows you to just make the letters go you know away from each other you know you can make it as far out of you as you like up to 800 um, I guess that would depend on what size you know border I mean what size graphic you're doing so working with the line height feature let me show you how this works so I'm just gonna type this over again so you can see how that feature works all right so if I click here and click back to spacing and go to line height you see how it's kind of you know I'll say maybe a, a 0.5 space then if I want to make the line height larger just go here and if I want to make it a little closer together just kind of play with that so that's how you work with the line height feature okay so the next feature on this menu is that you can duplicate text and duplicating text is awesome when you've done a lot of things in here and you want to make sure the consistency on your graphic is the same you know without having to go and redo everything you can just copy it and everything you've done in this text box copies into that text box so that's an awesome feature to use when you're dealing with text boxes and then of course <clears throat> you can position um, text onto a picture so let's just take this down here I have a picture down here and I'm going to change the color so you can see it maybe change it to All right, I'm just go down here so you can see it so right here is where the positioning would be very important when it comes to text right so now you see there's a picture here right and it's all automatically in front of the text because there's really nothing else on the page so let me add an element here um, I'll just add this let's make it red now this is not a, a graphic intended for uh, something that looks cute at all so um, right here now you see this we don't see the text right so if you bring an element into something and you can't see your text go here to position and click the element make it go backwards so that you can see your text okay so that's how you deal with this part right here and then you can align to a page so if you needed to go to the top well it's only gonna whatever you have highlighted as you can see in the background I had the text the actual box highlighted not the text so you see it moved the box and do that you see it move the box and not the text so just make sure whatever you want to move is is, is kind of highlighted or active so another thing another feature is the transparency feature and of course it just does exactly what it says you can make the, the text transparent um, now this isn't, isn't the cutest example but just want to let you know what's available and you can actually link text inside of Canva, which is another awesome feature. But I'm not going to show you that today because I'm waiting to show you that in another tutorial. But it's pretty simple, okay? 
And then, of course, you can delete the text. And that's pretty much it when it comes to text. And so everything I've told you today is just the simple things that you can do with text. Of course, you can go outside the box and, you know, do some wonderful things with text, um, such as, let me just make another text box here. Let me make another page. If you go back over to the text, you know, I told you about this section, which is what you can kind of um, make relevant to your brand. But there's also these text things right here where you can just click on them and it goes over into the um, into the graphic. And what it does is it is just if you're not a person who's, you know, big on style, like knowing which font to use where, then these little text templates are awesome to use and they're able to be changed. So if you like how this is set up and you wanted a different font, you just do what I just taught you about changing the style, the size and the color, all that kind of stuff. Right. These are all really simple. And I like to go through here sometimes and just see how things are sized up and possibly use it in another graphic or something. So one of the things right here is all this is, is just grouped text. So all you have to do if you want to ungroup it, just click on it and click ungroup. So you notice that this is ungrouped and then now everything is ungrouped and you can move it around and not and then not be together so you can ungroup the text if you need to all right and pretty much that is all that i have for you today if you have any questions in regards to text please drop it in the comment section below and don't forget to like and subscribe as well